Self-image is something we can't escape in our society because of what we see all around us in movies, magazines, and on TV. Most of us just don't like the way we look, but aren't really willing to do anything to change it. And if we do change, it's usually something small that doesn't really make a difference. Some people, though, are so uncomfortable with the way they look, they actually develop eating disorders or physically hurt themselves. One major issue is cutting. Girls every day think it's their way of relieving all the pain. The reality is, it doesn't work. The pain will still be there tomorrow. You must be willing to make a change or this is the way your life will always be. Some of the main reasons people cut themselves are feelings of sadness, self-loathing, emptiness, and guilt. These girls are most likely cutting themselves because of the way they feel inside or the way people make them feel about their self-image. After you cut yourself, you will only end up feeling more lonely, worthless, and trapped than before. Now, I personally have never thought about cutting myself, but I do know of some people who have thought about it and some who have actually done it. Cutting is one of those things that just needs to be stopped because people who cut themselves could potentially do other things to cause more harm, such as committing suicide. No one should be so self-conscious that they actually cause physical harm to themselves. Anorexia is another huge problem among teens because we're so pressured to look a certain way. These societal pressures can lead to depression and low self-esteem. This can also lead to anorexia, which makes you eat very little or not at all. What most people who become anorexic don't know is that it causes you major issues with your heart kidneys, and other vital organs. Most anorexics also have compulsive behavior, digestive abnormalities, anemia, bone density loss, and slow development. Now, these are all bad effects of anorexia, but the biggest effect is death. Most people who become anorexic usually don't think that they have a problem. Now, I know this isn't an ideal way to look, and it looks kind of scary, but these girls actually think they look good. They're obviously way too skinny. But the change they decided to make to fit into our society was to starve their bodies and stop eating. So I have a question for you. What do you see when you look in the mirror? One of my best friends used to be anorexic. She saw herself as fat, and wouldn't even wear a bathing suit in the summer because she was so embarrassed about the way she looked. Now, I didn't understand this because I thought she looked perfectly fine. She was about my height, but 20 to 25 pounds less than me. Every day, all she would eat was one baked potato. That's it. Can you imagine only eating one baked potato a day? Because I sure can't. I could see she was going through a tough time, but I just didn't know what I could do to help her. Later, she went to the hospital and was diagnosed with anorexia. She had to stay there 24-7 and wasn't allowed any visitors because it was a part of the process she had to go through. She also had to go to many therapies, which I knew she wouldn't enjoy. I didn't know what to do or think of all the things that she must be going through. Now, she's out of the hospital and back to her old self, the way it should be. I'm so glad that I didn't lose my friend to anorexia because such things really can take a life. Ne never be ashamed of the way you look because you are made the way you are for a reason. So the next time you're feeling bad for yourself, remember, someone else out there is going through something worse. And the next time that you're embarrassed about the way you look, remember, the people that matter won't care. And the people that care don't matter. Thank you.